All right. We're going to do, I guess, one more of these tonight. It's late, man. Uh, I'm just giving the people what they want. We're doing another 2021 NFL mock draft simulator. We'll probably take these up until like two o'clock Eastern on draft day. Technically it is draft day. Um, we're going to take over for the Philadelphia Eagles. Howie Roseman, the single worst GM in football. Our Sega Whiteside over DK Metcalf. Raker over Justin Jefferson. You can't make up the things this guy does. He is just an absolute dope. He He's probably like 5% smarter than the people in the comment section that don't understand why anyone would trade down. Those people are probably dumber than Howie Roseman. Says a lot. But... Uh, Shouldn't be too hard to do better than what Howie will do on draft day. Uh, I'm just giving the people what they want, man. Just giving the people what they want. It's late at night here. Trey's working. Trey's at the circus. He's dancing around like crazy while the other people on the site. I couldn't tell you what they do. No idea. I'm outperforming like 40 people at the same time. Giving the people what they want. Giving the people what they want. Three rounds. Uh, I know Howie Roseman got criticized from moving from six to 12, but again, you idiots in the comment section, it's a good thing to pick up future draft picks. I don't know how else to explain that to you. Dopes. But let's let's see how this goes. And we're not going to trade up. because We already moved down from six to 12. It would make no sense to go back up. I mean, maybe to like, uh, no, we're just going to, we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. I mean, this is wild. <laughs> I mean, this is wild. We got Chase, Sertain, and Parsons on the board here. My God. Okay, but here's the thing. I... I mean, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, what the hell, dude? Wow, I guess. I don't I don't even have words. I don't want to go all the way to 20. Can I trade with like Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Shit. This is tough. Can I trade with like... <laughs> this sucks. This sucks. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take Chase because to move from 6 to 12, because if, if we just look at this, all right, we move from 6 to 12. We put, picked up that Miami one to do that. So we're already on the board. And, and let's, let's be honest, Philadelphia Eagles fans. Let's just be honest. Jalen Hurts ain't it. Like, I don't know what you guys think is going to happen with Jalen Hurts here, but he can't play like not a lick, like not a, not a single lick. You guys, I don't know how you ruined Carson Wentz. I mean, we do know how he, they ruined Carson Wentz, just total and utter egregious mismanagement. But this Jalen Hurts thing, that, that ain't it. If a, if a top quarterback would have been there at 12, probably would have taken him. So yeah, the Jalen Hurts thing ain't it. But let's be honest. And I don't know what's going to happen with Deshaun Watson. I have, I have no idea. But who's a better suitor than the Philadelphia Eagles right now with a, a Dolphins first, a, their own first? That's going to be a first from Indy because of the trade details on the Carson Wentz thing. Who's, who's got a better offer for the Houston Texans? So we got to make sure we keep – we got to make sure uh, this is tough. You know what? 
You know what? I'd like to propose a trade with the Chargers. I'm going to make my own trade offer. Cuz I don't think I don't think the Chargers are going to take Chase. <laughs> Will they do that? I mean, I'm cheesing the system at this point. This isn't even really fair. This isn't even really fair. We're going to Here's the plan. We're going to take Chase. We got to got to find a way to get Mark Micah Parsons here. We got to find a way to get Micah Parsons. He's a Penn State guy. He played in Harrisburg. He's an absolute monster. And the Philadelphia Eagles don't have a single linebacker. I mean, you Eagles fans that are watching, who are your linebackers? You don't even know. But taking Chase here is a win. So we're going to do that. I knew it. All right. That's beautiful. Take Barmore. I want to go slow here. We can. We, I think we can wait. Uh, I, I. You gotta hope and pray the Notre Dame guy goes ahead of him. Okay, New England smart. How close can we get? Raiders, come on now. Okay. Miami Dolphins. What are Miami? Assholes. Sucks. All right, whatever. We're going to take it to our pick in the second round. That sucks. We had we had to keep it moving a little bit. It would have been too cost prohibitive. We got to keep those extra picks just in case we can somehow land Watson, just in case. Just hang on a second. Just hang on a second. We don't have another pick in the second round. We have two picks in the third round. A lot of good players on the board yet. A lot of good players. A lot of good players. Who the look it's 1:54 a.m. Who the hell is messaging me on Slack? Add another 7. You got a deal. Great. Great. One trade offer, 85. No, screw that. We need corners in Philadelphia. We need corners in Philadelphia. Asante Samuel Jr. is our guy. It's actually, it, I'm actually a little like disappointed in this one because like when I, when I figured I was going to do this Eagle stream, it was like, oh, Micah Parsons, Pennsylvania guy. Penn State linebacker, Philadelphia Eagles, a team that has no linebackers. In fact, if like Howie Roseman had half a brain and they had just taken Justin Jefferson last year, probably would have like bobbed and weave around, like took the Ravens offer, then moved back up, like traded down tra to trade back up. Got a little complicated, but like with Chase on the board, I, you had no choice. I had no choice. But we're going to take Samuel here because 
no choice but to take him. Eagles need a lot of defensive help. Hey, look at our Buffalo Bills. And then we're up again at pick 70. All right. All right. All right. All right. Go ahead. Great. You got a deal. That's actually a good pick, Aaron Robinson. Ooh. Hang on a second. Time out. That doesn't seem right. That's like a fourth rounder, isn't it? Nah. Mm. No, I got it right here. We're gonna take we're gonna take this Missouri linebacker, Nick Bolden. We've actually never ended up with him in one of these simulations yet. As I said, look, Philadelphia, they need linebackers out the ass. I mean, they don't just need one. They they need about 800 of them. They've never replaced Jordan Hicks. Have not come close to replacing Jordan Hicks. This Nick Bolton guy can run, can cover some ground, immediately becomes the starting linebacker. I mean, not just that. He's, he's, he's head and shoulders the best linebacker on the team as a rookie. And I would, I would think did the Lions take a linebacker. No. So I, I think, I think he might actually go right here too. We're going to take this Missouri linebacker, Nick Bolton. I actually feel pretty, pretty good about this draft. I'm not going to lie. I feel really good about this draft. Ooh. No, I don't want that one. Eh. Eh. Just give me, give me a second to, to look at this. Give me a second to look at this. Jordan Smith would be interesting. We interviewed that guy. You can check that out on our YouTube channel. That would be interesting. What's what what did what did I get off here? My brain's a mess. Am I like dying to the point where I gotta have somebody? You know, we don't even need an edge. We got Josh Sweat. We got Brandon Graham. We got the Tennessee guy, Barnett. I don't necessarily need Um Walker Little wouldn't be a bad flyer on a team that – I mean, they got offensive line problems. Let me see this again. I don't. I don't want to give you the seven. Let's just. Let's just do this. Great. Great. Get an extra five. Hold on. Do I? Is ninety-seven? I still get to make a pick here. I do. I do. Um, I mean, all of these guys are like, like, like. I understand why maybe somebody would want me to take Molden. I just think Adebo is kind of the same or maybe even better. I'm not going to take Adebo with Molden sitting on the board. (laughs) 
pick up more picks. I don't want to give you the five. I'll give you one of these sevens. Great. You got a deal. Okay. Um, you know, the, the Western Michigan guy is interesting. The Western Michigan guy is really interesting. Do we really need another receiver, though? I mean, we do. <laughs> God, that's tough. I just want to see. So we pick at 118 again. No, you know what? We're going, we're going another corner. Paulson Adebo, that's my guy. Stanford, smart dude. We get two corners in this. He's our guy. And that's going to do it. And look at both of those receivers are still on the board. Probably maybe could have got, maybe get one at 118. Who knows? Tylen Wallace. Some of, the, some of those receivers are still on the board. That's our draft. Philadelphia Eagles fans, let me know what you think here. And look at, look at all this draft. I mean, mostly late round stuff, but. And next year's Rams too is important. Again. I'm going to say this now. I'm going to call my shot. And I don't, and this this kind of depends. This depends. Obviously if, if Watson goes to jail and he's not playing this year or whatever, yeah, forget about it. But Philadelphia Eagles. Who's got more picks than them for next year to throw at a Watson trade? Jalen Hurts ain't it. Sorry to break it to you. But that's a uh, that's the Eagles draft. Let me know how I did. If you guys are happy, sad, disappointed, I don't know. I just felt like I would have looked. I think Micah Parsons in Philly is a perfect fit. I really, really do. But I couldn't pass on Chase at that point. I just couldn't. Uh, give me a letter grade. Let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button. Helps us out.